After an open date, 5th rank Notre Dame traveled to Los Angeles to battle 19th rated USC with a couple of goals in mind. The Irish not only were seeking their 10th straight triumph over the Trojans in this storied rivalry, but also were trying to defeat a ranked opponent in three straight games for only the fourth time in Notre Dame history. The Trojans figured to pose a particularly major challenge for Notre Dame's running attack, thanks to a defense giving up less than 100 yards per game on the ground. But the Irish offensive line, led by seniors Justin Hall, Lindsey Knapp, and Todd Norman, plus juniors Aaron Taylor and Tim Ruddy, decided to make an early statement of its own. After a USC field goal, Notre Dame's first possession began with an eight-yard burst by Reggie Brooks. Notre Dame needed only seven plays, all runs, to take the lead. For Brooks, it was just the beginning of an evening he would long remember. The Trojans rebounded to grab a 13-10 advantage late in the second period. But Notre Dame's senior tailback made certain it didn't last long with a spectacular response. The Notre Dame defense made a statement of its own as the second half began. Rick Meyer combined with Irv Smith for a 29-yard gain to start the offense rolling. Then on first and 10, Brooks shook off effects of a stomach virus to work his magic one more time. The Irish stop troops continue to match wits with the Trojan aerial show. A season high six sacks ensured the Trojan quarterback, Rob Johnson, became more familiar than he might have liked with Devon McDonald, Bryant Hamilton, and Bryant Young. In the end, it was the relentless Notre Dame running game that earned superior marks in front of 90,000 fans in the Los Angeles Coliseum. On his way to a career high 227 yard effort, Brooks blazed into the secondary and the record books time and time again. Bettis finished off the scoring with an eight yard touchdown run of his own for a 31-23 lead. USC had one last opportunity and the Trojans were knocking at the door with a first down at the Irish five with less than a minute remaining. But Devon McDonald nailed Johnson for a seven yard loss. Finally, it was junior cornerback Tom Carter who cemented the win with 10 seconds remaining with a pressure packed play of his own. The Irish finished with 330 ground yards against the nation's sixth ranked rushing defense. It was a fitting finale for Brooks and the rest of the seniors as they ended the regular season with Notre Dame's sixth consecutive victory. Coach Lou Holtz knew at this point that his Irish had developed into a complete football team that was as competent as any in the country. <laughs>